Just because you've abandoned your desire to climb Kilimanjaro doesn't mean you've given up on your ambition for adventure and challenges as a seasoned citizen. I'm here to show you that there is plenty left to see and do in this great big world and your age makes no difference because this is the time of your life. Hello, my name is Mercy Barron, archaeologist, traveler, foodie. I'm here with the TV show Time of Your Life. We are on the lovely island of Bonaire today, which was a hangout for pirates in ancient times. But today you're going to see me windsurfing, snorkeling, going to restaurants, and just having a grand old time. Arg! <laughs> best chef of Holland. He has worked in European Michelin starred restaurants, so this guy knows his stuff. Today, Will is going to make his mm, magnifique shrimp starter dish. It's shrimp cooked four different ways. We're going to go in the kitchen and watch him cook it, and then you're going to watch me taste it. We start with a shrimp cocktail, two nice big jumbo shrimps, Yum. baby shrimp salad with curry, apple, and onions, mm -hmm. pompadum, green leaf lettuce, uh, pickles, cooked shrimp, what is it, escabenche? Escabenche. Typical South American, Brazilian style shrimp and coconut soup. Every little city, every little family in Brazil has its own recipe. So it's like an apple pie in the United States that everybody has his own family recipe. First I'm going to try the soup. Oh, that is just perfection. Just the right amount of spice and coconut milk in it. Fantastic. Oh, every flavor just pops in your mouth, and they all blend so well together. And then, of course, this is your classic shrimp cocktail. You can never go wrong with that. Oh, so fresh. Wow. Well, thank you so much for joining me here today at Will's Tropical Grill. When you come to Bonaire, you have to come try his food. It is just knockout sensational. I'm here today out at the archaeological paintings out at Boca Anima on Bonaire here. Being an archaeologist myself, there is one thing that I absolutely love that they've done here. You can see the paintings on the rocks here, but they've got a metal grid in front of it because they don't want anybody messing with it or touching it or destroying it. And that's what I love about Bonaire. It's so into preserving its history and all of its ecology. Well, island is surrounded by an ecological reef, so they are very much into preserving their history. The Kakieto Indians are the ones that came here. They were an offshoot of the Arawak Indians, and they came here off the coast of Venezuela, I believe, 1000 AD. Simicans are actually Star Watchers caves. This is where they match the horizon of the coastline to the horizon of the sea to gaze at the stars. The weather-worn stalactites are really cool looking, aren't they? Here on the west side of the island, you'll find the historical slave huts, still standing in the area along the salt pans as a grim reminder of Bonaire's repressive past. 
In 1633, the Dutch, having lost the island of St. Martin to the Spanish, retaliated by capturing Curaçao, Bonaire, and Aruba. A small number of African slaves were put to work alongside Indians and convicts here, cultivating and harvesting solar salt. Salt is still the major export of Bonaire today. I'm here at the Plaza Reina Wilhelmina, and this is the seat of the government in Bonaire. The governor lives in one of these buildings here, and I know the buildings are over 100 years old. And they conduct all kinds of city and council meetings here. And just take a look, it's so colorful and really charming, very colonial looking. This is the Venezuelan fruit stand and they bring fresh fruit over several times a week from Venezuela because of course Bonaire is right off of the northern coast of Venezuela and there's some great deals and yummy fruit here and this is usually where I go to get my fresh fruit vegetables when I'm on Bonaire. Come on, take a look. Look at these, not yams like we're used to in the United States, but these are yams from Venezuela. I think they need to be cleaned up a little bit first and then I bet they're yummy. They're kind of big, might feed the whole family. Some fruit I don't recognize. What is this? Panchita. Sweet. It's a sweet fruit from Venezuela. I'm going to have to give it a try. So we're here along one of the main strips in town in Kralendike. And this is Carol's Bar. This is where a lot of the divers go after the end of the day. Go throw back a couple of beers. And then they go home early and start all over again. So it's a great little party spot at night. It's a nice long street. It's got some gift shops on it. Some of the restaurants are here and the locals love to just come racing up and down the street here in their little motorcycles and things like that. But when the cruise ships come in, it can be quite crowded in here. But it's very charming and it's a nice little place to take a walk and maybe view the ocean on the other side and just enjoy your day. Bonaire is considered one of the top diving and snorkeling spots in the world. Today I'm going on a guided snorkel with Renee of Renee's Snorkel Trips. Renee over here putting on her wetsuit and it's another lady going out with us, Sean. And the great thing about Renee is also she takes out people that are also physically challenged. So it's great for some of you over 50 people you think that you can't snorkel, Renee will take you out and she'll give you some really easy entries and exits and it's awesome. And she sees things nobody else could see by themselves, it's amazing. an amazing guided snorkel with Renee. We saw pufferfish and octopus. That's why we also call her Old Eagle Eye. She sees things nobody else could find. So that's Renee's guided snorkel tours. You gotta check her out. Awesome. These donkeys used to run wild all over the island, but they were getting hit by cars and running into some other problems here. So Marina, this lovely Dutch lady, has taken all these donkeys into this place called the Donkey Sanctuary. And, oh, oh, no, 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 not my bracelet. <laughs> and as you can see, they're very friendly and very hungry, and they're trying to eat my bracelet too. Joining me today on the lovely Caribbean island of Bonaire. Can't wait for you to come with me on my next destination on Time of Your Life. I want to go to Sunshine Beach where it's really hot. I want to hear the salsa rhythm sing and dance a lot. I want to feel the deep blue ocean tickling my toes. I want to take you there and never let you